The Denver Nuggets are in no rush to bring Michael Porter Jr. back. I think they drafted him 14th overall just inside the lottery this year. And uh, this is according to Denver Nuggets uh, head coach Mike Malone. And they are even willing to let him red shirt like Ben Simmons, Joel Embiid, and Blake Griffin did. We back. It's the Boxing Clinic and more. Y'all know what it is. We do more than boxing, so don't let the name fool you. And um, uh, check out the playlist as well. Uh, break down NFL and all the boxing stuff and, and all the you know other stuff, entertainment we do, and football and stuff of that nature um, as well. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. So, you know, we upload and when we uh, go live. But, you know, they saying that they wouldn't let him red shirt because they so stacked, you know, and they are. And the reason they took a risk on this kid, this kid was the uh, McDonald's All-American MVP, 6'10". And he looks, he plays like uh, like Kevin Durant. And he's long, he's tall. And uh, apparently the mystery surgery that he had, and I'm reading when I'm doing more research, was a herniated disc. Uh, the L3 and the L2 disc in his back causes uh numbing and, and, and leg pain and stuff of that nature and um you know he came back at the end of the year with missouri but it's still question marks and they want to completely let the back the back heal i would guess and contrary to people's belief i learned this when i took a uh a, a cnc a cnc mills and Labs class a long time ago uh you know part of the curriculum for a junior machinist class was you know injuries and a back injury is a, uh, is completely healable, you know, and you know I thought going into like once your back is messed up, it's over, but you, it can be healed. It's a, it's a tricky thing. It's a, it's it's about the recovery, which is everything is about recovery when you're dealing with, especially working out. It's about recovering because every time you work out, you're just tearing the muscle down, and the recovery and the nutrients and the rest you get builds the muscle up back stronger. So it's all about the recovery and not rushing them back. And it seemed like he tried to rush back at the end of Missouri's. Uh, a uh, season last year, and it wasn't good, but he worked out. Uh, Might have had a few minor setbacks with the back injury, but uh, for him, you know, this is a pain right now. It's just about him building back muscles and muscles and it's part of his body and hitting the weight room because, you know, you want to – not only do you want to hit that muscle and make it stronger, but you want to hit the muscles around it to support that muscle so while it gets stronger. So for him – it's about recovery, but like Mike Malone said, he said they they willing to take him as, as much time as he needs to get ready because they they stack. You know he could do a score, but he brings a superstar potential talent. He brings a potential one two punch uh, with the big uh, center, Yo the Joker. You know, uh, Yoki. He's one of the best big men in the league. I think he was once uh, he was amongst the the league leaders in triple doubles, and, and I love his game. Great passer, great post player. Now he's starting to stretch out and shoot the three. They got rid of Wilson Chandler. They also got a. Uh, they got Will Barton. They brought him back. They got Gary Harris, Jamal Murray. Um, they got Paul Millsap. So they, they had a really, really deep team, you know, a really deep team as far as scoring. And the next evolution for them is learning to, uh, you know, play defense. And uh, if they ever get – they hope – Mike Malone said, we hope for him to come back this year, but we won't rush him. But you've seen this before. You know, Joe MB is – they didn't know he's going to be 100% back from the foot injury. Ben Simmons, they didn't know if he's going to be 100% back. Blake Griffin off the knee injury. You see it time and time again, and these guys are young and technology is evolving. And, um, you know, I expect for him to be back, to be honest. You know, I expect for Michael Porter Jr. to be back healthy. I know the back is a tricky thing, but he got the support of the medical staff. He got the support of the coaches to take his time. And uh, it might be best if he does red shirt this year and don't play, you know. And on the other hand, you have Paul George who had a nasty leg injury that, you know, he could have completely red shirted that next season, but he came back towards the end for confidence, so – it's a thin line, but he only 20 years old, you know, only 20 years old. And that's another thing. Forcing these kids to go to college, he almost lost his career and didn't even get an opportunity to play in the NBA. This should legitimately should have been a number one pick in the draft, you know. He should have had a great college season and been a number one pick. But, you know, you 18, you old enough to go get your own house. You old enough to do, you know, get cigarettes in most states, especially in the north and the east. Down south, you got to be 19, I believe, to buy tobacco. You old enough to do everything else, get put out your parents' house, you know. But you can't go into the NBA and go into the uh, the Army and all that stuff. So, you know, hopefully they get done that. They get rid of that one and done rule, man. You know, start letting the kids go straight to high school, man. I know people say, well, they're messing the game up. The game already messed up. But, um, like I said, you know, if they want to redshirt, they want to redshirt. I'm a big fan of, of Michael Porter Jr. Whatever it takes. Like I said, it's been done before. You know, Joel Embiid is still making his way back. Ben Simmons had a strong year. Um, Blake Griffin still having a strong career. There's nothing wrong with redshirting. You can still be rookie of the year. When you actually play for the full year. So um, it's just some interesting things, you know, and um, 
if he does risk her, he does. But, you know, if he not, he not. I, I would just take it easy with him. You know, I would give him the best physical uh, training I could and rehab and weight training I could to build that muscle and get his frame ready and do basketball drills and, and nurse him back right. And if we feel like he's ready to come back at any point in the season, we'll bring him back. If not, let him rest over the season, you know, do some yoga and, uh, and, and get his body right and get stronger and get uh, bigger and leaner for the next NBA season. But it's the Boston Clinic of More. Don't forget, we got the new college sports page popping off. Me to Cali Enigma, Colossal Sports TV. The link's in the description if you like college football and basketball. Also, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Also, PayPal links in the description. The business email is there for business collaborations or uh, ventures as well. Uh, all that's in the description as well. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Uh, that lets you know when we go live or drop that heat, you know, and share share the videos, man. Like I said, we talk more than boxing. Don't let the name fool you. Check our playlists out. It kind of separates the kind of content we drop. And uh, share, share the videos. Y'all know what it is. One time for the one time. We gone.